Okay, David Ortiz here with Fight Hub TV, and today we're here with legendary boxer and trainer, Buddy McGirt. Buddy, thank you so much for joining us on Fight Hub TV. No problem. Thanks for having me. Now, Buddy, did you see the fight yesterday, Bradley Marquez? Yeah, I saw it. What'd you think, Buddy? Well, I know Bradley did what he had to do. I mean, the best way to beat Marquez is to use your speed and outbox him. I mean, he was saying earlier that he was going to put pressure on him, which I thought would have been a bad move. I think what he did yesterday was perfect. Um, some people, Marquez says, oh, he thought he won. Did you think the fight was close, or did you think it was a clear-cut victory for Bradley? Oh, clear-cut. I mean, there was no way the fight was close. Wow. Well, is there anything else you want to elaborate on that fight before I move on? I mean, not really. I mean, um, it was, uh, uh, I think you would have to be, uh, a real boxing purist to really understand the fight and understand the strategy that uh, Timothy Bradley had last night. The elephant in the room is, I don't want to get you in trouble, but Marquez and steroids. I mean, he fought Pacquiao three times, couldn't even knock him down. Then he hires the, the training coach um, who was involved in steroids. That's kind of known. He knocks Pacquiao out cold. Um, you're, you were a fighter. Um, you know, you've been a trainer. Any thoughts on that? Do you think that maybe looking at his body, his six-pack, that maybe Marquez could be on, on steroids or could have been on steroids in the past? Uh, you know, I, I really can't answer that. I don't believe that Nacho Bernstein, you know, being the great trainer that he is, I don't think that he would resort to something like that. You know, I, I just can't see it. I mean, he knocked him out. He just hit him with a perfectly placed punch. You know what I mean? Leading up to the, I mean, before the knockout, he was getting beat, and Pacquiao just jumped in and ran into a right hand. I mean, it could have been anybody that threw that punch and caught him and knocked him out. Okay. All right, so let's move on forward to, um, there's a fight next week. I always mispronounce his name, so I'll just say Ru Ruslan, the Russian, versus uh, Alvarado. Who do you think is going to win that fight? You know, I think it's, it's going to be like Clint Eastwood and uh, John Wayne in the gunfight. Whoever pulls the trigger first wins. Wow. Okay. Um, Pacquiao versus Rios next month. What's your prediction? I like Pacquiao. Yeah, knockout, <laughs> close fight. I think it's, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I've never really seen Brandon Rios fight that much. So I really couldn't say how the fight would go. But I see Pacquiao beating him.